Cincinnati right now. Oh, and I'm watching this tennis tournament. I'm, I'm here with uh, a couple guys you might know. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. And uh, we're having a fun time because we enjoy sports. You know, tennis is one of the Olympic sports this year. And in a moment here, I'm hoping to show you the guy that won the gold medal at the Olympics. This year at the Olympics, Alexander Zverev was the winner of the gold medal. He's from Germany. Now, when he was a little kid, his parents taught tennis, and he loved tennis. He started playing when he was about three years old. When he was five years old, he would practice tennis about half an hour a day. How does a person get good enough to win a gold medal? Well, they practice a long time and they don't just give up. I know so many kids that will try something one time and go, well, I'm not good at it, so I guess I'll just quit. Well, you'll never get good at anything if you just quit. Sometimes it's worth doing just because it's fun. And so I wanna encourage you to not give up. Alexander Zverev, he became the gold medal winner at the United States Olympics. I was able to watch him play tennis this last week, and he's really good. How did he get good? He didn't quit. Now, he's lost all kinds of matches throughout his career, but he became good because he didn't give up. God does not want us to be quitters. Not when he calls us to do something that's special, that's important, that would help other people. Don't give up. Don't get frustrated if you're not good at something right away. It takes time. God bless. James 1, 12. Happy is the man who doesn't give in and do wrong when he is tempted. For afterwards, he will get as his reward the crown of life that God has promised those who love him. Here we go. 
I don't know anybody who has started as a good juggler. There's nobody that started as a good juggler. Any juggler today will tell you they started as a bad juggler. That means they took that one ball, they took that one ball and they practiced tossing it and they kept dropping it. They dropped it far more than they caught it. And they could have just stopped and said, well, I give up because I'm just not good at this. Well, a person never will get good at it if they give up. The only way you can get good at something is by keep on practicing. You add in a second one and you learn the correct pattern and you keep practicing that and then eventually you can go to three. And after a person gets good at doing three, then you can even move on to other things. If you don't give up. Nobody learns how to juggle usually in just five, 10, 15 minutes. Maybe if you have a coach that can tell you exactly what to do, it helps, okay? But you have to listen and then you have to practice. And then after learning how to, how do you do the balls, then you can learn how to do rings. If you don't give up. And then, <laughs> what if we started doing something even a little more dangerous, huh? <laughs> so would a person start with juggling knives? No, you have to learn the first part first. You learn the pattern and then you work at it and you work at it and work at it and work at it and work at it until you get it good. And then you can move on to something else like rings or juggling clubs. And then at the end, wow, you might even start juggling something like knives, but you don't get there if you give up. Don't give up. In Hebrews chapter 11, it lists a whole bunch of people that went through a lot of hard things, but they didn't give up. Hebrews chapter 11, we call it the hall of faith because these are people that were full of faith and they were faithful even when it was hard. They didn't quit. That would be a great chapter to read this week. Hebrews chapter 11, the hall of faith. They weren't quitters. Nobody wins an Olympic event if they quit. One of the most popular stories in the Bible is about a boy named David. Now, he works as a sheep herder, a shepherd. But then there came a time when somebody stepped out and challenged the entire army of Israel, and it was a giant named Goliath. And David said, I'll fight him. But the others said, oh, no, you're crazy. You can't do it. You can't do it. Do you ever have anybody say something like that to you? You can't do it. Well, I know this. David said, no, God has helped me because when I guarded my sheep, I protected them from the lion and I protected them from the bear. And I know that God will protect me from this giant also. He beat the lion. He beat the bear. And so he knew that he could defeat Goliath. And I would bet even before David beat a bear or a lion using his slingshot, he probably first of all was using it to hit a chipmunk or hit a mouse or hit a rat or, or hit some other smaller animals too, something that's not as dangerous. See, we start off small and then we start going bigger. And that's the same thing, like I said, with juggling is you start not just with three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you start with one. And then you add in a second one. And then you go to a third one. We know that God can give us victory if we don't give up. Start small, do your best, learn how to do it, and then you can go big. Galatians 6, 9. And let us not get tired of doing what is right. For after a while, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't get discouraged and give up.
at whatever sport you try, you'll never win if you quit. Fact is, maybe it's not even about winning. If you're in a race, you won't even complete the race if you quit. God wants us to run the race to win the prize. And the greatest prize is completing the race in such a way that it brings honor to God.